Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm John Burton, I'm Chief Executive of the National Motor Museum Trust, and I hope you've had a fantastic day here at Bewley for Simply Electric. Yeah. I think you'll all agree it's been a really brilliant turnout and a great display of cars of all ages, shapes and sizes, and all sustainable and emission-free, so that's been brilliant. Uh, we've got three People's Choice winners, and they're all fantastic cars in their own right, and what a very different selection of, of vehicles they are. I don't think you could get three more different electric vehicles in display, so thank you to everybody who participated uh, in the event uh, and in the voting. So, in a second runner-up, it's the Nissan ENV200 camper of Jane Deploy from Bournemouth. Uh, Jane, do you want to come up and get your award? Come on down. Now, I understand you don't want to, to really talk to the camera or talk to the microphone, uh, but uh, you converted the van during lockdown? Um, we bought it like that. You bought yeah, it like it that? It was converted over lockdown and then we got it earlier this year. Fantastic. And it's a, a venture for you? You're going to re rent it out? Yes, we've got a camper van um, hire business and where we've got six other camper vans and we've always been looking at electric, um, but this was the first one that we thought was a viable um, camper van. That's brilliant. And we're well, very best to look at that. What's the name of the company? Shaw Campers. And do you have a website? Shawcampers.co.uk. <laughs> so, we... so you can hire that actual camper van. I'm sure there's lots of people <laughs> who would like to do that. Jane, thank you very much and congratulations today. Right. So the runner-up um, is Emlyn, Emlyn Taylor with the g -Wiz. Oh, Emlyn, it says on here why you love it, and it says it's a crazy little car and people notice it, and nobody could disagree with that, could they? No, 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 and you get two um, responses. Um, I think I'd say W, T, I won't say that, but, or wow, and um, yeah, it's a great little car to be. And so where did you travel from today? Um, well, we came from Romsey, but we came up yesterday from Fairland. And, and what's the range on a G-Wiz like? About 35 miles max, exactly 35 miles. <laughs> that sounds like a man with bitter experience there. Uh, but if you're driving around town, it's, that's perfectly great for commuting to and from the shops and going to work, isn't it? Yeah, that's fantastic. We love it. It's great. great little thing. Yeah, it is a super little thing. Thank you so much for bringing it today. Thank you, Emily. And I'm still wiping away my tears because I didn't win. Nobody voted for me. I've got a very disappointed honey monster who didn't win. And the winner is Mana, Marco Manacero with his Porsche Taycan Turbo. Marco, congratulations. Fantastic. Well, fantastic. Now you come down from London, do you want to say a little bit about the car? It's a wonderful thing. Yeah, absolutely. Look, it's a mind-blowingly fast car, of course. Good looking and environmentally friendly as well, which is, which is very good. Of course, it consumes more than maybe other EV, but much less than a standard Porsche or another, you know, supercar, so that's why. And uh, hearing your accent, you've explained to me why it says Italian heart on the back of a German car. I think it is it. <laughs> some reference to myself, yes. 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 It's the spirit of the vehicle as well, that, that performance. Absolutely, it's a spirit and actually a little bit of, you know, no facts about the car. Actually, the two engines were actually designed by an Italian company, so it has also had, you know, the heart, which is the engine of the car, is also of Italian conception, if you want. That's, that's brilliant. Well, very many congratulations. I'll give you a prize now. Yeah. Yes! <laughs>